Hey guys, my name is Cold Java, and welcome to the very first episode of a Let's Play of Game Dev Tycoon. Um, game Dev is a an indie game that is actually doing pretty well right now. It was on sale a couple, like a week ago, but now it's ten dollars. So if you got ten dollars laying around, this is definitely a great game to get. If you love strategy game tycoon type games, this is definitely a game. You should you should definitely buy this game. Uh, it's developed by Greenheart Games. Um, this is their very first game, and it's I think it's a huge success. Uh, they also have a website you can go to, and there's forums. So there's a huge community that's following around these uh, game game developers. Uh, on the media score, it scored a 68 out of 100. Uh, I personally would give this like a nine or an eight out of 10. But anyways, let's get to it. Let's start this. I'm going to talk about how to play this game just a little bit, just in case you don't know what's going on. Or it's just a general tutorial overview of the game. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, welcome to G Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, in this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games gain fans and become a leader of the market this is so exciting um before you can start your adventure you have to come up you have to come up with a company name so let's come up with something something funny um let's say t t bag games there we go good old t bag games coming out with top selling games uh let's we'll just go with my name trent um Let's give him a nice, let's give him a nice, like, sweater vest there. So let's start this. Unlock hints? No. I have played this, um, before. I played it a couple times, and both times I went bankrupt. So I'm hoping I can reach the end of this game and, and actually get far instead of going bankrupt. But I would go bankrupt at, like, like, probably seven years into the game but let's go ahead and develop a new game when I play I'm oh this is some interesting uh, topics we have hunting vampire life surgery um, let's go with um, let's go with vampire um, we'll call it blood and let's pick a genre here what? There we go. Um, let's make it. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good combination with RPG, but we're gonna go with action, and we're gonna do PC. Uh, we're gonna add some better graphics instead of just text space, because it is an action game. We want, we want action. Um, so to to help you guys out here, if you never played this, you pretty much have to focus on each like variable to the game so there's the story and the quest there's the gameplay there's the engine so for action games story and quest is not that important or at least in this game it isn't so we're gonna focus on engine and gameplay so right now we're developing the game usually uh, action games they focus more on technology than design so um, of course we want really smart artificial intelligence um, dialogues are not important at all we don't want to see talk we just want to see blood come on level design uh, is fairly important it's pretty important pretty important so we're about the second stage of developing this game let's see here um, sound is really important and world design is not so much important. So you you have to come up with these combos to create a great a great game. So I think next we'll try an RPG out. But we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and finish. All right. So this should be should be a good game. So right here is our levels up. Our <laughs> levels up. Uh, this shows how well we're we're doing in each uh, variable, I guess you could say, in each game. So like our engine skills are up, and overall we just level up in our 
in our skills, our developing gaming skills. So here's the exciting part, the really exciting part, you're, <laughs> this is the part I love the most about this game, is the reviews, to see how well this game is. Oh, an 8, that's really good. A 6? Wow, I went from an 8 to a 6, come on. Usually they all review the game in around the same um, area. So a 7, 8, 6, 7, 7. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. Not, not bad for the first game. Teabag Games, a newcomer to the game industry, has just released their first game, Blood. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Teabag Games are sure to gain fans quickly. So let's see how this does. Hey, 4,000 sold in the first week, not bad. Number 13, uh, ranked number 13 in the charts, that's really good. I have 21 fans, that's awesome. I'm afraid to s create a new game and um, it being really sucky, but let's go ahead and generate a game report. This will pretty much uh, give us some research points and it also will tell us what what is good and what is bad to action genre games. I'll show you in a second, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Game report. Um, vampire and action is a great combination. Story and quest seems not to be important for this type of game. So, when you're creating an action game, you don't want to focus on story and quests. Wow, I just broke a record. Of course I broke a sales record on my first game. Uh, 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of teabag games. So, let's go ahead and research a new topic. Cyberpunk, fantasy, let's do fantasy. There, I know fantasy will be a great um, topic for an RPG. Let's go ahead and create this game. Sex, you successfully researched fantasy. All right, develop a new game. All right, so what do, what do we want this game to be about? Let's see, let's have like, let's do a Skyrim type RPG, uh, let's have dragons and whatnot. Um, let's call it, uh, what should we call it? Um, War of uh, Dragons. <laughs> War of Dragons. Alright, so there's a conflict between dragons. Um, fantasy, RPG, platform PC. So let's see how this how this goes. We're gonna go with tech space because it is the 80s. Um, I, I guess what I'm saying is it, for RPGs we want a good story not so much good uh, graphics. So engine is not important at all. Gameplay is but we're gonna focus on story and quests on that aspect of the game. So artifi artificial intelligence for an RPG is not important at all, but dialogues are extremely important. So it's pretty much the opposite of an action game. So let's let's do about right here. Okay. So blood is off the market. It got me hundred hundred k hundred thousand. That's that's awesome. I'm doing really good. I've got a good start. I'm feeling good about teabag games. Uh, sound is not important and world design is. Uh, graphics will leave where it is. A uh, recent market study suggests that the G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. We'll see if that trend stays. Um, I'm sticking with PC. I don't know about you guys, but PC is pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and finish this. War of Dragons finally released. New record for design. That's awesome. Levels up here. Almost level two. So I should be level two pretty soon. I'm doing really good. Well. Um, all right. Okay. Come on. Let's get a nine. Oh, eight. Not bad. Okay, we're doing better th than the last game. Okay, seven. Let's get another eight. Come on, another eight. Ah, uh, well, I think it's still better than, I don't know. It's still very good reviews. Um, so let's see what it sells in the first week. 
We sold 8,000 copies. Um, so that's about all the time I have for the first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like, subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time at episode 2. See what's going to happen in tea, tea bag, tea bag Games.